<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Lie. My that first game of the season, uh-huh. 2009, Labor Day, that place, that was the that was the best place I ever played. I'm talking about. I think we're talking about the same game, the Travis Benjamin. Yes, yes. Listen, when I walked in that X, I said I looked around and I saw this college atmosphere. Yes. I was like, holy shit, we got yes. Jacory, this motherfucker's young. We finna lose. Like, Cause how could, <laughs> how could we win? You know what I'm saying? No way. Hey, how could you win in an atmosphere like this, dog? Okay. I didn't realize it's that cost to actually see it. I didn't realize it's that. One thing to hear when they play it here, the band play it here, but when they play it at the stadium yeah. and the crowd is chopping and shit, it's like, man. They give you butterflies. This is a lot. I, I went out there, that stadium, pregame, and then you all, you, you like how it start, though. You got to respect All you hear is the food. drums. All you hear is drums. And you, doom, 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 doom. All right, we back, man. Um, with Jacory Harris, and yeah, we got a, a lot more to talk about. Cause mm-hmm. we ain't even we ain't even got the college. We ain't even yeah. got the college yet. Uh, <laughs> hey, what's up, man? You got anything for him, man? So you get you um, got a uh, Robert Mars. He, he committed the year before. Mm-hmm. Robert Mars, Mr. Florida. Mr. Florida. You want Mr. I was just about to say he was Mr. Florida. Yeah, he was Mr. Florida. So he comes in. He's going to be the starting quarterback going into the season. You come. You um, um, you bring all your your buddies with you. Um. How do you feel? You, you go there saying you're going you're gonna to sit behind them or you're like, nah, I'm coming to take a spot? Of course you go in and you're saying you want to be the starter. But I've always been, um, I'm the type of person that I realistically think about a lot of stuff. Like, okay, yeah, I know I'm going to have to earn this. I know it ain't going to be just given to me. So uh, I know that when I come in, I got to compete. But at the end of the day, I'm not, I've am not. i never been the type of person that went, while I'm competing, I'm not going to help you. Even if, and, I, and you could be better than me, everything. And I tell, like I tell people, Stephen Morris, Robert Marr, when it came to arm talent, they had it all. Those guys, and Stephen Morris to this day, my, that's my brother. That's my little brother, Ben. It was just at my birthday party, everything. But, um, <coughs> excuse me, Robert Marr, arm talent, go run, um, was just a good football player. But it was, I guess, his off the field issues yeah. hindered him and stopped him from becoming what he could he could possibly become. Cause he was a talented kid, and you know, like I, I walked into the starting role because he was suspended the first game and the last game. Yeah. But yeah, then yeah. I played every game. What was he doing? I can't remember. What what he was getting in trouble? I can't remember. I forgot what it was for the first grades. Grades, gotcha. That's All what right. we gonna, that what we're going to say. Bro, what it? Grades. <laughs> Whatever, okay. So, and, um, and that's how you kept getting a chance to play. So that, so it was, so Randy was like, look, coming out of spring, coming out of training camp, um, Knicks want Mara to be the starter, but Ja'Cory going to play too because I did enough to be the starter right. in, in camp and everything. But Knicks was like, nah, he want Mara to be the, the quarterback. And I respect that. I was, I was I was okay with it. Right. Cool. If you feel like he did better than me, you you're my coach. I'm not no rebellious person. What did you feel? Hmm? What did you feel? Like how did it, like what did you see? I felt like I did better than him. Yeah. But of course, I it wasn't it wasn't a, a huge drop off. Yeah. That's the thing. It wasn't a huge drop off. Now the way you separate yourself is in game situations. Now when you in the game, that's when it's like when the lights on. Right. Who's gonna come to play? So that's when you get a chance to, like, I'm a freshman. You put me out. Yeah, it's Charleston Southern. But, shoot, I felt like I had a good enough game to be named the starter going into week two against Florida. So you say Patrick Nix told you y'all was going to run a spring. So what happened? Why y'all didn't run a- We came in spring because we all, me, Sean, Marcus, and Adarius, I think Adarius, yeah, we all graduated uh, early. So we was there in the spring. And we started that way. And we was running spread offense and all this. And then come summer, once everybody already there, you know, you get out there, we going doggone two wide receivers. All you got is Hank and maybe Travis yeah. or maybe Bird. And you like, hey, what are we doing? We got eight receivers that was all top 100, and we got them sitting on, on the bench. Third receiver come in, going to be pimp, that Ron Coyle. Yeah. And he was good. Right. And it's like, we got other good receivers too. Why we can't run five wide? Like I know we got running backs that's good. The running backs were, were uh, James and Baby Greg. J, uh, and Greg, Greg Cooper, Cooper. Uh, D. Berry. Yeah. 
they they felt that that was the strength of the team because they were the older guys. I I don't know. Yeah. Knicks just one. I don't think Knicks really wanted me to play anyway. He wanted Marv to Marv, be the quarterback. Probably, Marv, Marv to be the guy. And Marv, man, Marv was a talented kid. Marv was a great quarterback, strong arm. Um, and I tell, I used to tell Marv when I got there, I'm like, hey, look, now you got this. Like, you, man. you the real deal. I, I can see that. They like say by him and Stephen Morris. I'm just like, but up here, I, I can help you out with some stuff that I see and all that. And at first, when I wasn't playing, it was all cool. But then it was like. Once I come in, like we played Duke, we losing 17-7, and I came in, we won 49-24. He started changing on me and started, like, kind of felt like I was trying to take his job. He was. Everything. I mean, <laughs> that's a game. It's I mean, a that's, game. And then, yeah, you can't hate the but game. But after, after, after I did that, they ain't made me the starting quarterback. Right. And then it was another time I stepped in against Virginia and brought us back against Virginia, drove us down the field to tie the game up and send us in overtime. And then in OT, threw a fade route to Al Darius to win the game. I'm thinking I'm going to start that game. You was a freshman. I was a freshman. I started the very first game of the season. I remember all this. And um, the so I'm thinking I'm going to be the starter after after the first game of the season. I did good. Hey, let me go into Florida and start. Yeah. They put Marv in. Uh, she only scored three points that game, and it came on the drive that I was in. Right. The only time we crossed the 50. At Florida that year. At Florida. Yeah, so, Florida. Marv started that game. Yeah, yeah. Marv started that game. we were just talking about yeah, that. Just talking they about put that. me in. Patrick Nix put me in, like, Deerfield Beach on a 99-yard line. He put me in. That was because it was – he told me, hey, go in. It's your turn. Yeah. And I'm looking. I'm like, wait, the student section behind <laughs> me. This is my second game of my college career. These guys got Major Wright, Carlos Dunlap, uh, they had who else? Everybody. Uh, every uh, Brandon, uh, the middle linebacker that was like six. Spikes. Five, oh, Spikes. Brandon Spikes. Brandon Spikes. Brandon Spikes. Brandon Spikes. Uh, Brandon Spikes. All Amar Joe Black. Hayden, Janoris Jenkins, Amar Black, all these first round <laughs> draft picks, and you telling me go out there as a freshman, ninety nine yards, and I see Major Wright them creeping down. They didn't loaded the box. They know we finna run the ball, so I checked out. Mind you, I ain't had the ability to check. I called the slant to Kane Farquharson. I remember it. I called the slant. And they couldn't, my old line couldn't hear me. So I, I still had the run play on. But I was like, I'm calling like this, giving them a signal, slant, slant. And he looking at me like, what? I'm like, run the slant. Because they got the ball stacked. If you right. get this, you might be gone. And I threw a ton. He broke like 60 yards. Yeah. My first play broke like 60 yards. And then coach asked me, what were you doing? That wasn't a call. I'm like, well, shit. Is that the first the thing he said to you? It, man, look. Huh? You don't understand. Me we ain't got coming, no points, by the way. We ain't got no points, right? No points. <laughs> me coming from high school, even though it's high school, where I called all the plays. Right. And knowing my stuff. And then coming to college. And then they don't give you no opportunity to change. Or they telling you, they don't think you that smart. Yeah. So they like, nah, you can't change nothing. You can't do this. Like, it. It's a lot of stuff people don't know in college that. Well, that's why we here, though. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that, but that's why we here. So, I mean, but it, you can kind of see it. It's just hard to tell somebody. I tell people mm -hmm. all the time, listen, Ja'Cory was as good as he could be coming into high school. I mean, coming into college. Mm -hmm. You saw it. What happened? And I tell people all the time, what happened? Well, maybe he ain't work hard enough. This, bro, listen, <laughs> what happened? So, so it's because people say to me all the time, man, that's, yeah, I remember Randy, he took them all them kids from Northwestern. We should never take that many kids. And I get in heated arguments with them like, so you think all of them couldn't play? <laughs> That's what y'all trying to tell That's me? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you, gotta, so you, you gotta tell them like, hold on, so you telling me that in, in, in that recruiting class, you telling me you're not gonna take them kids and they was all good like recruited that? Recruited by everybody in the nation. Everybody so you think, this is how fans think. So you think they got the UM and laid down all at the same time? Yeah. No, bro, that's not what that happened. Our college football fails kids all the time. They fail kids all the time, and I try to tell people that. But nobody wants to look at the brand. They just want to look at the person they see playing on, on the field. Yeah, yeah. And it, it, it's it's unfortunate. Like, I don't regret anything. I'm no. glad I went to UM. I love everything you about You wouldn't go to Oregon if you had a chance to do it again? No, no, no. I, no. Still, I still make the same decision because, look, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed, man. Right. I'm blessed. And, um... I wouldn't have been the type of person I am, thick skin, everything, if uh, if I didn't, right. if I didn't stay here and go to University of Miami, because you play behind greats. Like it was people, 
before you that's way yeah. better than you in the Hall of Fame right. and all that stuff. So it's so I played behind greats. And even even to this day, my numbers and stuff still up there, which and I don't care about none of that stuff. I don't care. But um, it just unfortunate that people don't see like you you take kids from a specific offense. The reason you love them and the reason you recruit them is because of what they do in this offense. Yeah. But then you bring them to the school and you don't run nothing. Yeah. You, you don't run nothing running. the same. It's like you taking Patrick running. Mahomes from Texas Tech and taking him to let's say what team that stays in under the center? Wisconsin. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So say, yeah. say he go from Texas <laughs> Tech to, and transfer to Wisconsin. And he's not gonna be the same quarterback. That's why I like with Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck in high school ran pro style. When he went from high school, he went to Stanford. Ran pro, pro style. style. Pro style. All the guys that wherever Geno Smith in high school ran spread. High school, West Virginia. Spread. spread. Teddy. I mean I told hey Teddy, bro, go somewhere where you gonna run spread offense. Louisville, spread offense. Right. Ball. Everybody that went somewhere that was similar to them. And it was a smoother transition for them. Right. Spread offense. Not saying like if you did run pro style, and not saying that pro style was hard or anything. It's just different. Right. You're not. You you, you got to work on your drops. You got to work on your timing. Uh, and I was able to do that. It's just that I felt more comfortable in sure and, and spread. Let me let me take advantage of what the defense. I can see. I, I like right. to be back there and look and be like, okay, all right, they in in a cover two shell yeah but they could convert they could move this defense around to cover four they could go to three they could go two man they could do all this so let me on this side of the ball let me run a um routes specific to cover two mm -hmm. and then on this side i'm just in case they rotate based on film i see that safety like to come down over here and they convert to three or they might go to four let me give something on the back side that if they do rotate the safeties or do something else i got somewhere to go so yeah. That's how I used to be in high school, like in high school. In high all, school. Can all quarterbacks do what you just did? Nah, I learned that at the elite eleven camp. <laughs> there I it is. That, <laughs> hey, there hey, it is. Talk <laughs> to me. I'm be honest. I learned that at the elite eleven, uh, the top quarterbacks in the country. Back then, it used to just be like eleven quarterbacks. Right. Now yeah. they bring like About hundreds of yeah. kids, and you compete for it. But it was the top eleven uh, guys. I was dealt with Andrew Luck, Blank uh, Gabbert. Uh, Sean Renfrey, Mike Glennon, um, EJ Manuel. Uh, it was a bunch of guys that was in the NFL. Yeah. So I'm there with them guys. And not to take nothing away from them, but I remember sitting with EJ Manuel and they we doing board talk and they drop a basic coverage. They say, okay, what play are you gonna run against this? And he see me right and he was like, dang, what you doing? Oh, this is how I learned. Like, I'm writing everything, yeah. going over everything. And he like, man, they don't teach us that where I'm from. Right. They right, don't teach right, us right. that. It's not his fault. Right? It's not his fault because right. he's a talented kid, 245 already in high, coming right. out of high school, 6'5", right. fast, smart kid. It's just that they ain't teach him. And then when I got on the board, I think it was Chase Daniels was our uh, instructor, and him and Mark Sanchez. And then they're like, how you know this stuff? My coach. What you mean? How? Yeah, right. I said we don't even watch film. Yeah. We don't even watch film because Coach Perkins then taught me. Like we, we might watch film like to look at tendencies, yeah. but it was no need. He always said there's no need to watch film if you know your your offense inside and out. Right. Because they gotta stop you. You're not trying to stop the defense. Right. They gotta stop you. They gotta adjust to you. As long as you always in that position, the way you adjust into the defense. I mean, you're adjust. They're adjusting to you. You're gonna be good. leverage. You got the leverage. You got the leverage. Yeah. You would, you're saying as a freshman, you would have had more success than Patrick Nix had on offense. You think? You felt? If I called. If you if called. I called if, if they let you call. If I called. If I. Even if they ran an offense I, similar yeah, to yeah. what you do. If I took his offense and he let me call it, not. And I don't want to take away from not from grown men being coaches, but the way I was taught, I would have ran it the way I wanted to run. it. So wait, explain that. So you're saying you could have took his offense. Mm -hmm. It just ran it different. And just with two high receivers, or you put, put more. I'd put more receivers in. Gotcha, there. gotcha. And, and and the thing, I would have set up. I'd have protected myself more, like with hot routes and audibles, and I couldn't do none of that. I couldn't couldn't change the play. Couldn't like I would have. I was 
Could you see this? Could you see it? Could you see it? Like y'all six games. I tell you this. It's a six game, and you're saying to yourself, forget, "Man, we're doing this wrong." Forget Knicks. Whipple. We was in the game. I stood up, and well, we had a, we had a play call. Based on my just late on in the season when things started coming and down, dwindling down from the high horse, and um, I see something going on, and I'm like. Hey, I stand up. Mind you, the linebacker who was there hadn't already called out the play. Yeah. We played Notre Dame. Yeah. Man, Tateo. <laughs> we then ran NASCAR, which is double slant, bubble, uh, out, and a go on the backside. Five wide, but I'm under center. And it's a, a hurry up play. We then ran it. Every time we run this hurry up play, it's the same play. So they have a season worth of tape to study and see this. Yeah. We call NASCAR. Get up under the center. I listened to Matt Tateo. Hey, they running double slant in the bubble and the outlet. And I'm like this. <laughs> I look to the sideline. They know the play. <laughs> you know, I don't care. I'm like, they know the play. He like, run the fucking play. He yelling, run the play, run the play. Run it, pick. Because I tried to hit Hank in the, in the, in the separate, second window because Matt Tateo ran to the first window. So I'm like, oh. And they didn't jump all this outside, so I'm, I'm sitting back here. It's a three-step drop. Yeah. I wait till he get in the second one. I'm about to get hit, so I go to throw it. And then Harrison Barnes, oh, they, not Harrison Barnes. Um, it was Harrison Smith. Harrison Smith, Harrison the safety. Harrison Smith. White boy, bad. Yeah. He was nice. <laughs> he came down, dove right in front of Hank, quarter pick. So I'm sitting at the whip mad at me and all this stuff. He loved Hankinson. Hankinson was good, but he won't. Throw the ball to Hank. Throw the ball to, I'm talking about other people can be open. <laughs> Throw the ball to Hank. So then in the game, he trying to run go routes against. They running cover four. They playing way off us because they know our speed. Everybody respected our speed. Wisconsin was the same way. Yeah. But for some reason, he had that ego like, okay, we're going to beat him. I'm like, sometimes let's just nickel and dime until they come up and then take advantage you think of it. You think it's his ego or he – you think it's their ego? That's what you're going to call it? I think it? it's ego. You think it's ego? Ego. That my offense is going to work. It's ego, and they know ain't nothing going to happen to them. They coaches. What if you would have changed the play? What would happen to you? I'll tell you. I changed the play in South Florida. <laughs> Ended up being a pick. I'm going to be, I'm, oh, I'm be honest with you. Ended up being a pick, but the reason it was a pick, we call a, it's third and, seven, it's third and, third and three. South Florida, it's 33, 17 seconds left in the game. We on the like 30-something yard line. We in field goal range. Come to the sideline. Say, Coach, hey, let's just run quarterback sweep. Put the ball in the middle. Matt Bosch should kick the field goal. We win the game. Yeah. We tied. And he like, no, we finna run up. We finna run this pass play. We're going to throw the ball to Hank. So I'm sitting up there. There's a pass play. It was just an out, a little a basic little five-yard out, and a, uh, and a post behind it. Mm -hmm. So against cover two, that post doesn't make sense. You running right into the safety. Right, right, right. And I'm like, Coach, we could just – Run the sweep, kick the field goal, and win the game. No, 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 we running this. Coach Shannon runs down. He even he's running that. He like, hey, we gonna spot the ball in the middle field? No, no, we finna run the ball. Isn't that Shannon call though? It's not. It's not. So it is. Yeah. But Shannon, he was like, man, look, at he gave his offensive coordinator. I don't want to overstep on anybody toes. You make your decision. You live and die with it. And um, the man called the play. I get out there. And it's boiling inside of me that we're not finna spot the ball. So I changed the outside route. I take the full responsibility of that. Why did you change it? I changed it to a go route. Why? So I could throw them in a the hole yeah. just in case. I know based on film from me studying countless hours yeah. against South Florida, they was either gonna run two man or they was gonna run cover two. Didn't fail every time, third and short. Every time. I get out there. See the DB, he looking at the receiver, but then he peeking in. I'm like, they finna run cover two. They right. gonna jump Hank, cause they out route right there. They gonna jump Hank, and I can get a whole shot. So I changed it. I'm like, all right, I got it. I say hike, take my three. The DB carry Bird, and they hurry up and flip, cause he knew I'm finna carry him. I know it's a route coming. Yeah. And I'm getting ready, cause I see it, and he comes off on Hank. So I'm already in the motion to throw the go route. Yeah. As I throw it. My receiver breaks in on the post. Yeah. And I, like this, I lose the ball. And I'm like, oh. He ran the wrong route? So the DB, 
goes, dives on the sideline, catches a pick on the sideline, tippy toe like right in, ball fluttering in the air like that. So, uh, Whip talk about why you ain't throwing the hay? I said, man, they ran exactly what I told you from the run. And then Bird, damn, I ain't want to say his name, but that's my boy. That's my boy. <laughs> he came to me. He like, Jacoby, what, what happened? I'm like, I gave you a go route. What happened? Oh, you did. My bad. I'm going to let them know. I'm like, nah, you good. I'm the quarterback. I'll take it. Right. Mind you, I'm taking it from everybody. I know, yeah, Even up, up to the combine. <laughs> they asked about that. At the combine, they asked about that play. And I'm trying to be politically correct and come to find out. Will, who had already left by that time, and he was, he knows a lot of the guys from his time in yeah. Pittsburgh. One of my old coaches who was on that same staff who knew what happened came to me at the combine and was like, man, Wilt last night, he was like, you ain't going to get drafted. I'm going to be honest with you. You might not even get picked up anywhere because last night he was dirty in your name. He was sitting up there saying, you changed the play. He called the run play. Or he called the quarterback sweep right. to spot the ball. And you changed it to a pass play. So it made me look like I was just this dumb quarterback yeah. and all this stuff. And um, I mean, he cried to me on the field at the combine in in the in the doggone dome. Who was this? Uh, coach Robinson, Tommy Robinson. He was the running back coach. Cause he had heard Whip Dirty the he name. Heard Will, he heard he heard about Whip, and we was talking about that. But at the end of the day, it was like I ain't I ain't, I ain't really care no more. No. At that time, I, I once I heard that. And then I seen how stuff started playing out. People at the interviews asking me about it the next day. They started asking, hey, so what happened on this play? Yeah. I'm thinking to myself, let me not be the, the young kid that throws coaches under the bus. That's how I always was. If something happened, I ain't throwing nobody under the bus. And I don't feel like I'm throwing on the bus now because so, that shit is over. <laughs> and so you protecting him in that moment? In that moment? I, protect all, I protect all my guys. I protect all my guys. I had a receiver against Ohio State running the wrong route. Ended up in a pick. Yeah. It was, and he he went to the to uh, in the media and said it was my fault. And then I went and I went in the media and said it was my fault. Yeah. But then I asked him afterwards. I was like, Hey, so what 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 route you had? Oh, I ain't have a route. No. <laughs> what did, what play did I call? It was a run play, but yeah. I called X key, right? Oh, dang. Like, it was stuff like that. But I'm like, nah, don't worry about it. It is what it is. Yeah. So, I was, man, it was a lot of stuff. And not, and I'm not trying to say, I'm not making no excuse for my, whatever I had in, you know, right. my part in everything. It's just, for too long, I kept my mouth quiet. Right. Like, my whole four years, I, anything that went wrong, I took the blame for it. Right. And yeah, I did it with no problem. Yeah. He I took played. a lot of heat for them four years, man. Yeah. Everybody the played. The sophomore year was yeah. It sophomore was year was pretty good. Who was your other boy? Whip. Whip. But the thing Whipple. is, I should have probably been out for the rest of the season. Uh -huh. I told my play North Carolina. We mind you, we didn't only lost one game at this time. We ranked like number nine, number eight in the nation. We was balling. I was up for the Heisman. I tore my my UCL in my thumb. I remember throwing that. the ball, Marvin Austin. Yeah. I remember he hit me. He was first round talent. I remember that. And my finger got stuck in his helmet. I was coming down and it snapped. So I'm sitting down there. I'm like, I'm trying to shake it. And it's like, I can feel it coming out. And um, <clears throat> I go to the sideline. Mind you, it hadn't swelled up yet. So they're like, no, it's OK. It's OK. I'm like, man, I can't feel nothing. Then go out there. I'm talking about, I can see the receiver right here in front of me. I try to throw that thing to him. The ball end up over there. <laughs> Who was the backup? Who was the backup? I think it was AJ Hossman. AJ? Oh, shit. Yeah, it was AJ oh. Hossman. <laughs> yeah, because Marv, Marv, Marv had, Marv had transferred. Marv transferred. Everybody transferred. Listen, one Cannon, day. Cannon Smith, Taylor Cook, and Robert Marv. That's right, because y'all did come. You came Once in with a different starter, quarterbacks, right? Out of, out of training camp, I had well, Kenny Smith's dad was like FedEx. FedEx, he yeah, owned yeah. FedEx. Yeah. Cannon, like my boy. Cannon, yeah. Cannon, my boy. And it was Cannon another one. It was another tall one that played Cannon, baseball. Taylor Cook. Taylor Cook. Taylor, Taylor Cook was Taylor like 6'7". Six, six, yeah, yeah, he was tall. 6'7". Six, yeah, Listen, man, one year at Florida State, I was um at Florida State. This is before I had football, but I was on the sideline. And I was there. I got to the game late. I was trying to find my seat. And if you ever been outside of Florida State, it looked like a damn state park or something. It, it looked like a dump inside of Florida. But inside of the stadium, the mm -hmm. shit is beautiful. 
And it was it was it was that night, and I could not find my seat. I don't know why I kept going back and forth. But when I walked in the stadium, and I saw the stadium, and it shit lit up at night, and the motherfuckers chopping, I said to myself, "Man, we finna lose. Yeah. Like, how do you win in some shit like this? You know what I'm saying?" Lie. My that first game of the season, uh-huh. 2009, Labor Day, that place, that was the that was the best place I ever played. I'm talking about. I think we're talking about the same game, the Travis Benjamin. Yes, yes. Listen. When I walked in there, X, I said, I looked around and I saw this college atmosphere, like a real college. Yes. I was like, holy shit, we got yes. Jacory, this motherfucker's young. We finna lose. Cause <laughs> how, can we, how can we win? You know what I'm saying? No you, way. How could you win in an atmosphere like this, dog? Okay. I didn't realize it's that cost to actually see it. I didn't realize it's that. One thing to hear when they play it here, the band play it here, but when they play it at the stadium yeah. and the crowd is chopping and shit, it's like, man. They you butterflies. This is a lot. I, I went out there. I remember. Cause I remember we, I think we got the ball first, and um, yeah. I remember the formation and all that. Formation, the play, we ran a screen to JJ, baby J. Little play action, and he came by a little slip screen, and he broke for like 15, 20 yards yeah. to set the tone. But that stadium pregame, and then you all you, you like how it start though. You gotta respect all you hear it, the fool. drums. All you hear is drums. And you, doom, 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 doom. you gotta and you respect it. You gotta respect it. You gotta like, respect it's like a cult, it. like, and then you, you can see all it. the. Um, I ain't even finna do that. Yeah, it's illegal. That chomp is illegal. But you gotta respect it, dog, right. cause they start doing the little war chant and that little chomp. Yeah, and everybody on the same page. You just see the arms, and it's a wave of people doing it. And I had Sar doing the day that Sean Taylor game. At night, it was a total totally different. different. It was it was a different that it was a different feel. Rocking. And I just thought that it was like, goddamn, like we finna lose. Like yeah. we young. How are we going to win? And, man, maybe a couple of plays after that, man, you caught Travis Benjamin. Man, let me tell you, Travis was the that, was, shit was coming right hey, to me, too. <laughs> Wilp. So that was Wilp's when he when Wilp first got there. Uh-huh. Nobody got film on what we finna run. Right. Nobody know what we finna run. Uh, Wilp had a lot of good plays, like gadget plays, unbalanced uh, offenses, where we have, like, a uh, center guard tight end right next to me and – that's the play that uh, Travis caught that, that corner yeah. out in. But then Florida State was so predictable that year. They, they ran they two. Defense. They ran two, three. They ran one coverage. Well, three different coverages. Cover zero, cover two, or cover two man. <laughs> that was it. And I'm talking about it was spot on. Yeah. Like, you ain't have to think. It was spot on. So, yeah. it was like, in certain situations, you go out there and 35. I'm like, all right, they got the two shell. All right, nobody coming up. They front of run cover two. Go were they up. good? Were they? I can't remember. Were they good then? They were. They were decent. They, yeah, they, they had decent. Christian Ponder. The year yeah, before, they, they was good. Right. Yeah, yeah. They had Christian Ponder. But then after we beat them that year, they ended up being just decent. But they yeah. had Christian Ponder, and um, and he, he we just couldn't stop him running. He was running all over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, 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 look, running. as with Miami, Miami University, Miami. DB's great. So our DB's locking everybody down. But then we got good DNs as well. And D, our D lineman good, but everybody trying to get to the quarterback. So now he got lanes when you run a man to man. He got lanes to take yeah. off. Yeah. Right. So he was just running all over the place. <laughs> but right. uh that game, it was man, it was it was like picking them up it was picking them apart. It was easy. It was, they had a superhero on that field though. Number five, Greg oh, Reed. Out from that. Greg Reed. And he was a midget. He, he was like five now. You remember Greg Reed? Greg Reed. A superhero, a dog. You he got two picks. <laughs> he got, the two picks I threw. One, I got hit in my elbow. And I I, I, hit, I, got, I yeah. must have got hit straight on my funny bone. Because then I started taking snaps yeah. afterwards. And uh, I couldn't feel my hand. So I remember they were like, all right. I told AJ, I was like, AJ, you got to go. Yeah. I, can't, I can't do nothing. Mind you, we losing like 28-14 at the time right. in the fourth quarter. And I'm like, man, you got to go. And he was like, all right. So I see him warming up. AJ come over there. He asked me. He, I'm sitting on the bench. I'm like, I'm not going in. I'm not going in. I can't feel my hand. What AJ said? AJ said, hey, you, you sure you can't go oh. in? But I I think he was my boy. Yeah. So he was worried about me because like, that's my boy. And uh, and I like, I kind of looked at him like, you know, I'm, I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in. What you saw? What you mean? I ain't nah. That's my boy. Man. That's my dog. AJ, my we dog. just said it, it was a 
a hostile environment, dog. Hostile. Listen. And I wouldn't want to be. I'm going to be honest with you. Just like they put me in as a freshman against Florida. Yeah. I, I didn't want to be in that situation. Right. And and I kind of had that look at AJ. Like, I'm looking at him. I'm like, hey, he a true It's okay, though. I, I, it, first it, game it's of the season. Things. Right, right. I'm like, you know what? Let me. I get in. And if anything happened, I, I'm good. I'm built to take this. You end up winning the game, though, right? Yeah, we, we won that. Yeah? Yeah, we won yeah, that. I, I, yeah, I, I, mm-hmm. Then that's when we I threw that corner out to Travis. To Travis. Yeah, that was beautiful. That was yeah. beautiful. Let me tell you, you don't watch the highlight where the, the commentator says, I don't watch the hell of it. The commentator be like, oh my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't see it. He's like, oh my. Because Travis wasn't even supposed to. I'm going to tell you what's the beauty of, what was the beauty of playing with Travis is that um, you didn't even have to, you don't have to look at the coverage to know that he's open. The play wasn't built for him. Mm -hmm. The play was just basically double smash route. And his play action was fullback. So we had unbalanced. We on the right hash. It was an unbalanced right. So now I got the uh, guard and a tight end. Tight end got a corner route, and that's what I'm supposed to. I was supposed to go to based off leverage. Mm-hmm. But and I'm telling my corner route, I'm like, hey, if they give us man to man, you one on one with a linebacker. It's yours. It's Travis like, Benjamin, one on one. No, no, no. Linebacker. This oh. my tight end. Oh, okay, gotcha. So and it's a play action. Play action to the right. Come out of the play action. I look, and instead of my tight end. Taking an outside release on the on the uh, yeah. on the linebacker, so he could bend off on that corner and be wide open. He goes inside. Nigel Bradham pushes his pushing him down, and now the safety right over the top of him. So it threw my whole vibe off because I pre snap I was like I'm going to the tight end right because I know based on coverage, even no matter what he's going to be open if he just outside release. Right. And when I turned around and I seen that I was kind of like. Oh crap! I ain't never worked on going backside. Yeah. I ain't never had to in man to man. Right. So I'm like, you see me as I do. I'm moving up in the pocket, but I, it ain't fluid. It's just like all over the place. But I see Travis. He like this, and I see the guy like right on the side of him, like right on this side. He had a safety over the top. In my mind, he doubled. That's why I'm like, oh okay, I see him. But then when he he cruising. And I see him go. When I seen his <laughs> head go down, I say maybe he telling me something without telling me something. I'm just gonna launch this shit. And somebody was coming to hit me, so I was, whew, I just threw it. I don't know how. I just threw that thing. It just gave all, me chills. Yeah, yeah, it gave me chills <laughs> looking at it, cause, cause I was like, what? I'm telling you, that was the beauty of playing with Travis. You just see them dreads. You know when he when he think he open. So if he think he open, I can't see. I see two guys right next to him. That's all I see is two guys and him in the middle. Mind you, they got leverage. I can see that. But when he dug, I say, oh, he finna run past them. And I threw oh, it. So he was so fast. He was fast. Right, right. I threw it, and that thing dropped right in between the two of them in there. And so I listen, went to talk my shit to, to uh, Bobby Bowen. <laughs> sure was. <laughs> the whole let's game. get into the science of that play, bro. Listen, what you're talking about is a play is how long? Five seconds? Yeah, if that, but in your mind, that you're talking about three seconds. Yeah, three seconds, you saw all, all. You that. saw that, and so Travis has to run. Say I'm open. Say I'm open. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna look back and hope that Jacory saw what and I he saw. He didn't even look back. No, he didn't look back at me. No, Travis. No, I'm saying once he get open, he has to look yeah, back yeah, for the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back so, for the ball. So he's assuming that he assuming I'm gonna let this thing go. That's he it. he just ran to a spot. <laughs> He, like, all right, his corner route was aimed at the front pylon. Yeah. Because we were, like, I'll say about 50 yards down the field. So his corner route was aimed at the front pylon. But I brought it down a little bit. I could have kept him up, but then that DB probably could have came over the top. Right. So I'm like, dang, this ain't going to be no touchdown. But I hope I keep it in bounds enough where he can get his feet down. Right. So I couldn't, I can't, I don't know how your arm and your eyes based depth perception being a quarterback, some throws you make and you like, I don't know how I kept it in bounds or how I did it. That's this. crazy. You the quarterback saying you don't know how that works. I don't know how that works. It just, because I never look at the ball as I'm throwing it. I keep my eyes on the target and it helped me. And it's like my arm, it goes there every time. I, I could throw a go route and catch a DB in stride as long as I keep my eyes focused on the point that I'm looking at. Right. And that's what happened. I was like this and I threw it. And Travis ain't look up until he was like already digging, and then he finally looked, and then when he looked, it was just done. Right. It was done. And that was to win the game. 
that was to get us in a position in to position win. Because then I handed it off to, to uh, Baby J. Baby, yeah. yeah. And he ran it in for a touchdown. You was there? Nah, I wasn't there. I was I was watching it on TV and I was in my head I was like I was I was happy and then I was like, what well, damn, why Travis ain't just going in? So but then I ain't noticed like okay when he caught the ball, he only had like two steps left. He barely, he get he out. Got, a, he barely got a yeah, speed. Before he yeah. got out of bounds and I was like, damn, he could have scored. But like you know he said it was, it was so beautiful, man, when you seen that ball in the air. And I just knew he was gonna catch it. I said, yeah, Travis just ran by everybody. I didn't think it was gonna be in the inbounds. No. That was the thing. When I threw it, I'm like, dang, I threw this out of bounds. The commentator was like, oh my. And every time somebody stopped talking to Travis about Corey, I sent him in. I'd be like, dog, this was what Corey was. Man, that man threw some say, beautiful <laughs> I said, when Corey got there, but when Corey was, was ready to play. Yeah. And, and, but. I think one of the most beautiful ones we've seen was um the one he threw to Greg Cooper. The the sluggo. Yeah, man. That was, that's out what I'm the saying. Wilp, Wilp. <laughs> Offense was good. It was a pro style offense, yeah. and it was good because he took advantage of matchups. The only thing is, cause like that game was like, all right, green right tight, uh, whatever motion X logo, whatever the play was. But I remember all I had to do it was like based on Florida State. They only run man is on. You see man is on. <laughs> That's, so when I see based on the formation. We had the tight, we had tight end backside, and uh, I said shift, tight end move to this side. The linebacker went with him, safety rotate over here. The DB was already over here covering the two yeah. two receivers. Greg went out this way, and number twenty nine went out there. As soon as I seen twenty nine go out there, I said, "Oh man, you you screwed right now." Cause Coop was like, he was Lashawn McCoy before Lashawn McCoy. Right. And the thing is, they played together. At yeah, they played together. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah the, he started uh, over with Lashawn McCoy. Yeah. So, Coop, Coop ran that sluggo. At 29, he jumped the first route. He jumped the slant, and it was like, oh, pulled his groin and all. I would have pulled my groin, too. I would have lied, too. Yeah. And Coop caught that thing. It was easy. It, like, it was that he made it easy. Right. But this is the thing. You got to start adjusting later on. You can't call the same play, same formation the whole oh, yeah, year. Yeah. Eventually, now people got film and they, they start studying. People came from the pros, right? Came from the pros. So he should know that. He should know that. So what do you, what do you... I don't know. Right, okay. Because <laughs> we stayed, <laughs> right. I'm talking about we stayed the same, we ran them same plays all year long. And we lost to VTech. We lost to VTech. And um, we still had a... a, a, a we could have won that game, yeah. But um, we lost to V Tech at V Tech. Only reason we lost that was because of the weather. I ain't gonna lie to you. It yeah. was it was like forty degrees. <laughs> it was raining. The wind blowing. I think I got like hypothermia. I'm in the shivering. Couldn't stop. And we still, I think, lost yeah, like Jimmy Bass Graham had a good game. That was Jimmy Graham game. Was that? Or that Let me was tell you, time? Jimmy Graham dropped. Ball. Yeah, I remember something yeah, significant yeah, about yeah. Jimmy dropped, Graham. Jimmy dropped. So I threw Jimmy. I ain't gonna lie. This was a beautiful. It was one of those passes you throw on Madden, yeah. knowing that the guy could take a hit on Madden. <laughs> right, right. But in real life, he might not be able to take this hit. But because I threw the ball, I put it over the linebacker. It was a cover two, and he had a bender. Yeah. I put it over the linebacker. Both safeties was converging on him. He in the middle. It hit him. He caught it. But that safety. Lit his ass up, <laughs> but it was like, yo, all y'all do is just catch his touchdown. Right. And he dropped it, so I wasn't worried about that. This is his first year, so then, but then we came back. We ran Texas, and backside he had an out, and DeBerry with the running back. I think he had like an angle route, and if they blitz, I'm supposed to wait and throw it to the angle route, right. dump it down to the back. But I said, man, it's third down. They finna blitz because they know. We gonna have to dump it off short, and then they just converge and make the tackle. I'm gonna sit in the pocket, and I'm gonna wait till Jimmy come open on his uh, on his on his backside out. Said so hike, they sent everybody, and I'm sitting back there. I got the uh, the yeah. angle route open, and that's who Wilt want me to throw it to. But I'm like, nah, Jimmy gonna come open. He one on one. Jimmy bomb step the deep the line who was covering him fell, and I threw it. Bomb, I got killed. And I like kill, I roll over and I look up and I see him go like this and he turned his head before he took off. He, he was got two passes that game. Yeah, he he was taking That's off. That's what I remember. Was so, Willie Williams on? 
No. no we we, 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 we,